The world can be a crazy place. Just when you think you're educated enough to understand how this crazy cosmic rock works, BAM! Something truly peculiar happens and we're all forced to admit that none of us are truly clever enough. An awful lot of strange things happen. Can you explain them? These are strange natural phenomena that happened on Earth. Iceland. Visible in the northern areas of Iceland from late August to mid-April, the northern lights or pillars are actually a weather phenomenon due to which long colorful beams of light can be seen across the sky. This beautiful spectacle is one of the biggest tourist attractions in the world and has brought Iceland a great deal of revenue. The reason for this beautiful sight is the force of friction between electrically charged particles and thin air molecules. With one of the most beautiful view in the world, the Northern Lights is one of the most wonderful natural phenomena as well. Fire Worlds There aren't many things as relaxing as staring into a fire on a nice cool evening contemplating life. However, another fascinating option for the fire lovers out there are fire whirls. They present a strong intensification of combustion, usually during large urban and wild fires. However, they are obscured with many features. A mixture of wind and fuel to produce something like a sandstorm, but with fire and smoke. A scorching heat that looks pretty awesome, but is vicious. They are not understood well, with most understanding coming from a laboratory as they are very dangerous to approach, due to the high strength and force and temperature of the flames, also the destructive powers of the momentum that acts like a wind funnel. The best guess at understanding this epic reaction is particular clouds. These lens-shaped Flying saucer-like clouds are stationary clouds that form mostly in areas of the troposphere, the lowest layer of the Earth's atmosphere. There are three common types of lenticular clouds. Altocumulus clouds, or standing clouds, stratocumulus standing lenticular, and cirrocumulus standing lenticular. Colorado Sky could put on an amazing show of light, color, and clouds. The main difference in these clouds is their position in the sky, traveling upwards into the atmosphere. Lenticular clouds form where stable, moist air flows, and are typically located over a mountain or range of mountains. When the moist air flows, a series of large waves form on the mountainside. If the temperature drops, then the moisture in the air starts to condense to form this unique-looking cloud. As quickly as these clouds form, they can disappear just as fast. When the moist air moves back through the wave, the cloud begins to evaporate. These fast-forming clouds appear close to ground level. Because of these reasons, lenticular clouds are often mistaken for other flying objects, including UFOs. The Morning Glory Clouds As they are very rare so, there is only one place in the world where they can be predicted to occur on a regular basis, and that place is the Gulf of Carpentaria. The primary characteristic of these clouds is that they form bands of roll clouds. They travel at a rate of 10 to 20 meters per second and occur at only 100 to 200 meters above the ground. Morning glory clouds can be just one cloud, or it can be 10 consecutive roll clouds. When the clouds move, what is actually happening is that a new cloud is constantly being formed at the front, and one cloud is being destroyed at the end. Royal Australian Air Force pilots first reported this phenomenon in 1942. 6. Glowing Forest, India 
Nature has strange ways to show its beauty and capabilities. There is a special kind of bacteria called Messina, found in the forests of western Ghats in India. This bacteria lives and feeds on rotten leaves, plants, and animals at the surface, and glow in humid weather conditions. As a result of humidity in these forests, the woods start to glow which is known as the glowing forest. Another reason for the glowing of these forests is the presence of fireflies in great numbers, which cause luminance at night. Blue Holes Many hypotheses have emerged throughout the years on the nature and purpose of these deep, dark blue holes. The mystery is almost as awesome as the outcome. The explanation for this is that they are very difficult to quantify and measure using current, ordinary intellectual resources. An interesting point. The debate is out whether they should be a protected area since they have allowed marine life to flourish. Being sheltered away from the open ocean, they foster a huge array of organic, habitual sea life. One of the coolest things about them, aside from the rich and flourishing abundance of life, is that when you look directly down on a blue hole, there is a color discrepancy between the rest of the ocean and the circular blue hole which leads deep into the sea floor. Can you imagine what it would be like to be that deep underwater in a swimsuit? The pressure would be crushing, you wouldn't be able to see anything, and everything would want to eat you. No thanks, I'm good. Perhaps let the sea be the sea, and I'll be focusing on seeing things with my own two eyes on dry land. What do you think? Are you game for a dive in a deep blue hole? 4. Mud Volcanoes in Pakistan Among several other amazing tourist attractions in Pakistan, the mud volcanoes in Baluchistan is among the most beautiful ones. There are three major groups of these mud volcanoes and are named as Chandragup 1, Chandragup 2, Chandragup 3. There is a total of 18 of these volcanoes and are nearly 300 feet above the surface. The amazing phenomenon behind the volcanoes is that these have deep roots in the Earth's surface and act as a valve for releasing high underground pressure. The Sailing Stones Sailing stones are also known as walking rocks. They are seen in many places, but most commonly occur near the Death Valley National Park in California. The stones move from one direction to the next on their own. Several hypotheses were suggested as to why they move and how they do it. First, it was thought wind is the cause, but it was difficult to believe that wind moves such large stones. The sailing stones of the racetrack Playa in California were first studied in the 1900s. Scientists were not able to find the answers to the mysterious sailing stones for almost a century, and in 2014, they finally solved the mystery by using a time-lapse video footage. It revealed that the stones moved due to moving ice sheets, even at wind speeds. Light Pillars USA, Canada, Arctic Light pillars are optical phenomenons that commonly occur in areas of the Arctic and regions that have low temperatures. When the atmosphere becomes extremely cold, flat ice crystals form in the air. This occurs close to the ground. Once formed, these crystals reflect natural and artificial light taking on the color of the light source. When sunlight is refracted through the edges, or reflects off the faces of these crystals, this phenomenon can be seen in the USA, Canada, and Arctic, and other cold places across the globe. A colorful and extraordinary sight, it's basically a treat for those experiencing extremely cold weather. Photographers from all over the world travel to catch a glimpse and capture the brightly colored vertical pillars of light dazzling in the night sky. An example of this phenomenon was seen throughout Ohio up into Canada. The colors shown through these light pillars ranged between orange, green, red, yellow, and white. It was essentially like a nighttime rainbow. This was a rare sight for the South, and was also seen a number of times across large portions of North America. The Door to Hell This place is located in Turkmenistan. 
It is a natural gas field that collapsed into an underground cavern located in Derweez. Geologists intentionally set it on fire to prevent the spread of methane gas, and it is thought to have been burning continuously since 1971. Scientists have come to the conclusion that the underground natural gas is responsible for this phenomenon. It was originally thought to be an oil field site. The engineers set up a drilling and operations to assess the quantity of oil available at the site. Soon after the survey, they found a huge natural gas reserve. Expecting dangerous releases of poisonous gases from the site into nearby towns, the engineers thought it would be best to burn the gas off. It was estimated that the gas would burn out within a few weeks, but it has instead continued to burn for more than four decades. The place is now a popular tourist attraction. Since 2009, 60,000 tourists have visited the site.